Hi guys, hope you're doing well, hope you're thriving. Uh, my name is Doreen. If you're new here, you are welcome to my channel. To the old subscribers, the returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for loving the content. Thank you for loving the channel. Thank you for recommending the content to your friends. I'm forever grateful for your support. Yeah, so if you know me, uh, you know that I'm always organizing and decluttering if you know me like that please leave a comment below and tell me <laughs> yeah you know i'm always organized putting things together you know the towels are together the bed sheets are together the tops are together i'm always organizing something yeah on that note i also love decluttering so decluttering is uh, removing clutter generally uh, removing things that you don't use uh, things that you don't need, things that you have not used for a long time, things that you know that you have collected that you know you you may never use them or you use them once in a year or something like that. Yeah, so that is clutter. Decluttering is removing clutter, and clutter are things that you don't need, things you don't use that are in your space and are taking up your uh, physical space. And you know these things do not only take up the physical space. They also take up your mental space so it's very important to declutter so in this video i'm going to share with you advantages of decluttering and i want to take you on a journey of me decluttering uh, my home i'm going to start with the wardrobes mainly my wardrobe and my baby's wardrobe uh, the bedroom and then the kitchen and all but I'm always decluttering, so there may not be so much to see. But I hope that you can pick a thing or two uh, on how to do it for your home or for your family. Yeah, so I'm going to take you through the advantages of decluttering so that it can motivate you to also go out there and declutter. So on this channel, we talk about life in general. So that's why last time we talked about uh, God's timing. Today we are talking about decluttering. And I have a feeling that this is the right time. You know, this is the right time to talk about this, especially as we head into the... As we head into the festive season, Christmas and all, it's important that, you know, we declutter our homes, the things that we've not used for this whole year or even last year, the clothes that we've not put on for the last year and this year, those that have, that have not been serving us, those that we don't use like last year you were a size 8, now you are a size 10, but you're still keeping clothes of size 8, hoping that you'll go back. You know, you have to get rid of all those and buy and stock things that fit you and that make you feel good so this is the time to do that you know to take out all that trash all those old electronics that blew up two years ago and you're still keeping them take them out clear your space so we are going to go deep into all that in the coming weeks but for today i'm going to take you through the advantages and hope that by the end of the video you'll be motivated to declutter your home one of the advantages of decluttering is that when you declutter your space you declutter your mind you know there's a way when you purchase something when you possess something it takes a place in your mind so meaning that if you have so many things they are taking up a lot of space in your mind and you are not using those things and those things are not serving you so meaning that there's a lot of space in our mind that is wasted because of these things that we are keeping because of this clutter that we are keeping so when you declutter your space generally you know you declutter your mind those feelings of anxiety when the time reaches like sunday you go through the whole motions of what am i going to wear because you have a thousand things and you have so much emotion attached to those things you know you go through all that just because you want to find something to wear yeah so when you remove all the things you don't need all the things you don't use things that don't serve you for example clothes that don't fit you anymore clothes that are too big you know when you remove them from your space you remain with few clothes that fit you and that you are going to wear and you have space like you have space in your uh, space and you also have space in your mind to think about other things other important things you know you remove a lot of burden from your head and from your mind and from your heart when you declutter your space yeah so the first advantage is that decluttering physical space also declutters the mind the second advantage of decluttering and especially for clothes and you know decluttering mainly like 
the emotional bit of it and attachment and sentiment is, is, is mainly on clothes. So when you declutter your clothes and you remain with only clothes that fit you, they fit the body type that you have, they fit the body size that you have, clothes that make you feel good, clothes that don't leave you feeling like you want to go to the gym, which is a good thing to feel that you want to go to the gym. But then it also takes away the joy, you know, the joy of enjoying the body that you have right now because that body is serving you. That body wakes you up every morning, takes you through that day. So in appreciation of that body, dress it the way it is in the size it is so the clothes that don't fit you the big size the small size get rid of all those and then in your closet you remain with only clothes that fit you and that make you feel good and you know that will lift your mood will give you positive vibes and positive energy i'm going to share a before and after picture of when i decluttered my trousers uh, jeans uh, cloth pants and all that and let me tell you something, you know, I wanted to first wait and declutter and then come and tell you this. From the time I decluttered that space, like the space is enough and all the clothes that I stayed with, I have so far put them on, all of them. You know, the few trousers that I stayed with, I have put on all of them. And I feel good in the clothes that I remained with. So in my space, I no longer have a clutter of, in my mind, I no longer have clutter of thinking about the other five trousers that I don't like, that don't fit me, that are too light, that are too gray, that are too, that I used to think about before choosing one trouser that I would put on. And to be honest, we all put on like 20% of our clothes, 80% of the time, meaning that you already know the clothes that fit you. You already know the clothes that make you feel wet. So why keep all that clutter? Like why keep all those things in your closet? T them taking up closet space, you know, of things that you, you, which you could put in things that you like. Yeah, so let's get rid of all those things. Another advantage of decluttering is that you will have an improved lifestyle and well-being. First and foremost, when you have a lot of clutter in your home, you are prone to accidents. Like you trip over things, things can catch fire because there are too many, they are too crowded. So like even you in your head, in your mind, you know that this is not how things are supposed to be. And with that, you know, it affects your well-being, it affects the way you live your life because of too much clutter. So when you declutter, you have an improved lifestyle and well-being. Another advantage is that you get, you have higher self-esteem because when you're organized, you feel like you're in control. And I can attest to this, like from the time I started decluttering my wardrobe, uh, I have you know, I've always had high self-esteem, but you know, it has increased. It has really increased knowing that the few pieces that I have, I wear all of them. And the ones that I don't have are going to be to bless someone else who may not have. Yeah. So I feel like I'm in control of my environment. I feel like I'm in control of my wardrobe. Another advantage of decluttering is that you have a permanent place for everything. Uh, this helps you to avoid problem areas. The problem areas are those prone areas like a chair in your room where you pile up everything or a suitcase where you pile up everything or a mat or somewhere or a corner in your room, you know, where you pile up everything. So when you have a space for everything, meaning that when you wear a jacket, uh, you go out, when you come back, the jacket has a space, it has a hanger, you put it back on its hanger. When you use a, a towel, the towel has its space. After using it, you put it back into its space. But when things are too many, like they don't have a permanent space. Today it's here, another day it's in another place, meaning that at one point it will not have where to go, like it won't have where to go. Yeah, so... When you declutter, you find a space for each and every item in your house, each and every cloth that you have, each, the shoes, you know where to put them, the, the cups, you know where to put them, you know. Like when you remove something from somewhere, you take it back. And this leaves you more organized. Like you don't have to take up a lot of space organizing because, I mean, a lot of time organizing because you're already organized and you organized as you go. Yeah, so that is a big advantage of decluttering. And another advantage of decluttering is that it saves you space and saves you time. Like I have said, you have enough space, you know, and this helps you in cleaning. 
when you're cleaning a cluttered space like it is so hard it takes a lot of time to clean a cluttered space meaning that it has taken away your space and then it has taken away your time but when the surfaces are clear the surfaces are neat you easily clean them so that means that your cleaning is very easy and very swift you no longer talk when you're cleaning like you're not lazy to clean because the, the surfaces are there you can see them you can access them and you can clean them but if the surfaces are clouded that means you're thinking huh, now i have to first remove this then clean this surface or something like that so it saves you a lot of space and saves you a lot of time when you declutter and i'm going to read something here that made a lot of sense when i was prepping for this video uh, it says that studies show that people experience a significant decrease in the stress hormone cortisol when items are removed, helping you to feel more stable, more clear-headed, and relaxed as you clean. So that is part of the cleaning that I was talking about. When you clear your space, you remove stress. Ah, that sounds better. Yeah, so clearing your space removes stress. So if you want to be less stressed, declutter your space, declutter your environment. They're also saying that that's because a cluttered environment can make your brain less effective at processing information and more prone to frustration. In other words, taking a time out to organize your space may actually save you time by allowing you to work more efficiently. Yeah, that's the first point that I was talking about of how when you clear your space, you clear your mind. And this helps you to think more efficiently, to think about other things like, you know, more important things that you'd want to think about with a clear head, with a stable mind. Yeah, so those are some of the advantages of decluttering. I will share as I go along this journey. I'm going to take you on this journey of decluttering, the advantages. Uh, I did a course actually on decluttering and organizing. So I have a lot of information to offer on this topic. And I, I want you to engage me in the comment section. If you want to um, ask me anything about decluttering and organizing, please leave the question in the comment section so that we can learn from each other and grow together. And I am also offering decluttering and organizing services. If you're interested, you can reach out to me and I'll lead you on the journey to declutter your home so that by Christmas, you know, you have a clean home, you have a clean space. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. As we always say on this channel, progress is progress no matter how small. So keep moving, keep growing and keep glowing. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.